The 42 Ideals of Maha, Ancient Egyptian Wisdom for Harmonious Living. The 42 Ideals of Maha originate from the ancient Egyptian goddess Maha, which embodied the fundamental principles of truth, balance, order, law, morality and justice. These precepts were a code of conduct that established pure and harmonious living in accordance with the cosmic order. A brief examination of each ideal reveals their universal and timeless relevance. 1. I have not committed sin. Abstaining from immorality and wrongdoing. 2. I have not committed robbery with violence. Respecting property and lives of others. 3. I have not stolen. Not taking what is not rightfully yours. 4. I have not slain men and women. Preserving the sanctity of life. 5. I have not stolen food. Not depriving others of sustenance unjustly. 6. I have not diminished obedience for sacred obligations. Fulfilling spiritual and societal duties. 7. I have not uttered lies. Embracing and promoting truthfulness. 8. I have not stolen food. Repeat it to emphasize its gravity. 9. I have not caused disruption of peace. Maintaining societal harmony and order. 10. I have not committed adultery. Respecting marital, sexual vows. 11. I have not made provocations. Avoiding instigation and escalation of conflicts. 12. I have not committed murder. Reiterating the injunction against taking life. 13. I have not acted deceitfully. Embodying honesty and integrity. 14. I have not plundered the plunder of sacred lands. Respecting consecrated ground, property. 15. I have never panted after occasions of violent excess. Rejecting unrestrained aggression or vice. 16. I have not caught any profane footsteps in the adytum, inner sanctuary of any temple. Not intruding irreverently in sacred spaces. 17. I have not rushed in on hearing words. Exercising patience before reacting. 18. I have not judged hastily. Making judgments with deliberation and fairness. 19. I have not transgressed, I have not made more or less than what is right. Upholding equity and proportion. 20. I have not diminished the bushel. Not cheating or withholding dues unjustly. 21. I have not loaded the scales to cheat. Maintaining honest weights and measures. 22. I have not snatched the milk from the mouths of babes. Not depriving the vulnerable and innocent. 23. I have not caused grief. Avoiding inflicting sorrow and pain on others. 24. I have not committed acts of impurity upon the river. Not polluting or defiling water sources. 25. I have not scorned God. Having due reverence for the divine. 26. I have not dishonored my parents. Honoring and respecting one's parents, elders. 27. I have not treated God's names irreverently. Using sacred names and concepts properly. 28. I have not reviled the principles of God. Not denigrating or mocking righteous precepts. 29. I have not stolen the bread of the gods. Not appropriating that reserved for the sacred. 30. I have not defrauded the public weighing scales. Ensuring just weights and fair commerce. 31. I have not snatched away the bandaged consolation from the departed. Not desecrating funerary rites, rituals. 32. I have not committed acts of sexual impurity. Maintaining chastity and sexual purity. 33. I have not struck fear into any man. Not subjecting others to undue intimidation or terror. 34. I have not transgressed. A reiteration of the injunction against wrongdoing. 35. I have not burned with rage. Exercising restraint and control over destructive anger. 36. I have not stopped my ears to the words of right and truth. Being receptive to moral guidance. 37. I have not uttered hot and untimely words. Avoiding rash, intemperate speech or outbursts. 38. I have not blasphemed God. Maintaining utmost reverence for the divine source. 39. 
I have not scorned the departed, though in the pit. Respecting the dead regardless of status. 40. I have not made ill use of the privy chamber. Not misusing or defiling private, sacred spaces. 41. I have not plundered the plunder of the sacred lands. Repeating emphasis on respecting the sacred. 42. I have never pried into matters or meddled therein. Minding one's own business appropriately. Examining these precepts, one cannot help but notice the striking parallels with the ethical foundations of all major world religions and philosophies. The Judeo-Christian Ten Commandments and the Buddhist Eightfold Path emphasize virtues like honoring the divine, respecting life, rejecting theft and deceit, upholding sexual morality, and maintaining harmonious relations. Islam's pillars of faith similarly uphold truthfulness, integrity, charity, and reverence. The Yoga Sutras outline moral restraints, yamas, like non-violence, truthfulness, non-stealing, chastity, and non-covetousness. Across Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, Taoism, Confucianism and other ancient wisdom traditions, we find refrains of compassion, humility, self-discipline, selflessness and service as core values for individual and societal well-being. Despite their diversity, all these belief systems essentially point toward a universal ethics of conscious living grounded in fundamental human virtues. The 42 ideals of Ma'a represent an extraordinary articulation of these timeless principles from the ancient Egyptian civilization's enlightened civilization over 5,000 years ago. As we reflect on these profound guidelines from the ancient past, we cannot but be struck by their contemporary relevance in our modern age of moral confusion and drift. Their wisdom illuminates a path of personal centeredness, social responsibility and spiritual awakening, a blueprint for restoring balance, truth and righteousness in our lives and world. In many ways, the future of humanity may well hinge on reclaiming and inculcating the ageless values they so eloquently enshrine. By embodying their essence in our thoughts, actions and character, we can elevate human consciousness and create a civilization of peace, justice and enlightened coexistence. Each of us has the power to manifest these ideals and be inspirations of Maha on this shared journey called life. Ankh, Uja, Seneb. Life, Strength, Health. Learn, Like and Subscribe. Copyright 2024 W. Kenneth Money All Rights Reserved. Ma'at's Feather of Truth is a registered trademark of Project Ma'a Publishing, Chicago, Illinois.